All right, welcome back. Um, we're going to draw the pentagon now. Now the pentagon is a difficult shape to draw. Uh, there's a few steps. There, there are various number of steps or methods to draw it. Uh, I like this one. Um, if you've come across another one, you're welcome to use it. But this is my preferred one, and I found it's the most accurate at times. Right now, the first step is they give you the line. They tell you the the, the given line. Um, of your your pentagon, and this will be the bottom bottom side of it. Now there are things that you should know about regular shapes. Regular shapes means your size lengths are always all the same, and your corners are always the same. They don't, they don't differ. So, in our first tip, we're going to take this line. Now I have to draw a perpendicular line through it. Now, you should know how to do this. I went through this with the previous video. If not, just go back and check and look again. Now, perpendicular line, I'm going to take my existing line. I'm going to set my compass again just a little bit further than half. And I'm going to draw an arc. I'm going to do the same from the other side. And do this. Now, be careful. I'm almost, almost too small. Um, Try and set your compass a bit bigger so you can clearly see where they cross. Right, but for now I can see where mine is. Right, I'm going to connect this point up to that point, but a construction line from the top. Right, now my next step is to take the side length, this label it, put this one A, make it B, right, and let's make this middle point C. Take full length of AB okay, the full length of AB I'm going to place it on C and I'm going to mark it off right do not mark it off like this it will be shorter than it should be it should be perpendicular upwards right. now that's my point now you're going to take your compass or your, your triangle or a ruler you're going to connect A to that point and you're going to extend it again this is construction please do not draw to dark now my next step is to take half the length of AB now I've already divided it using this perpendicular half the length of AC or AB right which will be AC in this instance I'm going to place it on this point over here and I'm going to mark it off on the line that I connected from A to the midpoint and extend it. Right. Now, please do not or, or pay pay attention to this next step. You have to go place your compass on A. Let's slow this one. And place it on that half of A B that you got there. Now this point has to be referred or transferred to my perpendicular line. Now this point will be the top edge, the middle point of my pentagon. Now why do we know about our perpendicular pentagon? All side lengths are equal and my corners are equal. So I'm going to take AB okay. I'm going to take AB. Now I'm going to make an arc from B I'm going to make an arc, and from A, I'm going to make an arc somewhere. Just, just draw a random arc, right? Now, my top point, I'm going to place my compass there. I'm going to make an arc on that side, and I'm going to make an arc on that side. You'll see you're going to get this point, and you're going to get that point. Now, all I have to do is connect up this corner to that corner. that corner to that one connect B to the outer corner connect A to that corner and there you go my perfect pentagon some students tend to use when you t drag this line across tend to use this point 
and bring it across so the pentagon looks a lot flatter. Right. Please memorize this one. We're going to practice it a lot. We will be using the pentagon a lot in uh, the, f the future videos that I'm going to show you. We're going to start drawing these in part of a bigger drawing and then we're going to start drawing uh, isometric drawings from this, maybe make a three-dimensional drawing from this pentagon. All right. Thanks for your time. Uh, keep practicing. Uh, leave a like if you like this video and if you haven't yet subscribed, please subscribe. Thank you.